I know. I was being all advanced and like using editing software, which is really just, you know, Windows Movie Maker. And it's, of course, as soon as I start talking, the birds start squawking. I was just dead silent. This house was just silent. As soon as I start talking, they start squawking. Arrgh! So yeah, you'll have to contend with me not knowing what I'm vlogging about and my birds going meh, and then me not editing any of it out because I can't be fucked. <laughs> um, I'm currently looking for another job, a new job, not another job. Um, I'm just sick of it at where I'm at. Um, I've become really jaded in a way that I haven't in a long time. I'm, I mean, I've, I've done a lot of different things. Like I've done janitorial work twice. I've done customer service roles a bajillion times. I've done like the behind the scenes sort of um, production. Uh, and um, like pricing things at secondhand stores, uh, done volunteer work in hostels and old folks homes and Special Olympics and face painting. Like um, I've done quite a bit, but nothing has jaded me nearly as much as working in a call center. I would rather I would rather risk getting hot, greasy butter stains all over my wrists from movie popcorn, my very first job, than have to answer another phone in my life, unless it's a personal call or, or somebody saying, hey, we want to hire you, or you want to come in for an interview, then I'll be happy to answer a phone call. I don't want to wear another headset at work ever again. Um, a lot of companies, not only, like, we're supposed to be an answering service, I feel more like we're being, we're being treated more and more and more like, um, a, what's the word I'm looking for? A complaints department. I am the punching bag for so many people who are upset with various different companies for various different reasons um and that they're angry that they can't get hold of these people and you know I've called five times I've called eight times and nobody's called me back and I am sick of dealing with you people I talk to them directly can I be placed on hold nope nope you sure can't all I can really do is take your name your phone number and ask them to return your call thank you bye I'm so, so, so over it. I mean, the, the pay is okay. My coworkers, I'm, I'm actually quite shy around uh, my coworkers, so um, I don't really talk to a lot of them. Um, the management's really nice, and you know they they do all they can to make it a nice environment to be in despite the, the workload, but I just don't think I can handle being there for much longer. So I'm going out for coffee with my friend Rachel, and I'm going to see her little boy. I think he's like five months old now. I haven't seen him since, she, since he was six weeks, so it'll be a nice catch up. And uh, I'm going to go looking for jobs in Stafford. So wish me luck. Uh, the last time I did have a job interview in Stafford, but I didn't get it because I didn't have any Australian work references and they couldn't get hold of my Canadian ones, so I missed out then, so I might try again. It was just for Big W, but um, it's like the Australian equivalent of Walmart, <laughs> only with proper uniforms, not just vests. Um, so hopefully, you know, even that I think would be better than what I'm doing. I'd rather be a cashier at Walmart equivalent than continue where I'm at and I just so miserable and I absolutely hate it like not only the job but the whole hours thing as well I mean two weeks ago I was doing 2.30 a.m. starts 
and this last week I've been doing 6 a.m. starts. And I'll keep doing 6 a.m. starts, and then I'll have some 8 a.m. starts, and then I'm probably going to go back to 2.30. And it's just big jumps like that that's really, really hard on me. I, I'm not 16 years old anymore, and I can't do it anymore um, as easily as I used to, so... <sighs> well, um, let's see how it goes. Messed up my bangs. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it seems like every time I come on to vlog, I just end up bitching about work. Um, just, I'm tired. And I'm miserable. And I'm only part-time, and I still feel like I spend way too much time there. I'm on day three of five off, and I was so upset that it's halfway over already. It's like, no, the time! I seriously had a Lord of the Rings marathon, and I've been playing Minecraft and Little Big Planet and Mod Nation Racers, because we just got a PS3 the other day. Um... And I'm just, ugh, I want that time back so I can do something productive like play more Minecraft. <laughs> I play so much Minecraft. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'm not even good at it. Like, seriously, I... I cannot plan for the life of me. Like, um, I cannot take time to build a specific building or to build a specific thing. I pretty much just do whatever. I'm I'm the kind of person who would rather dig a big hole than and like the same amount of time and effort it takes to, to dig a big hole than for somebody like my husband who'd rather be build a huge castle. So like give us an hour, I will have a huge fucking hole and he will have the beginnings of a gorgeous castle and we'll put in the same amount of work. But I'm just like, no, I'd rather dig a hole. Um, I don't have that. I, I don't know. I'm trying to find another. Um, I wish I had thought of editing this, but fuck it. Mm. I'm a finger painter. How's that? I would rather just glob my hands up in paint and go, Ugh. Um, I can show you two of my paintings. One of them actually has a thing. And another one actually has a thing, but it's not a thing I planned. Hold on, I'll go grab them. You can walk, look at my ugly, fucked up couch, because I sit on it funny. Ah. Okay. So, here's one of my finger paintings. It's an elephant. Of sorts. Yep. Sure is. And then, uh, there's this one. It's my favorite. You can kind of see, um, there's a skull here, and then there's like this hat and a lady's mouth, and it's all just kind of flurry, but then you can see like an arm here, and you can kind of see his leg sticking out, and um, it's kind of like he's grabbing for her, and the rest is like this big skirt. Um, it's hard to see when you can't see it all, but I think this and this is the most defining part, and then just um, parts of his body here, just grabbing her. And there she is, and there's, there's he, so... Yeah, I, I love this painting. Um, it's, uh, this one's a bit more controlled. Um, So yeah. Oh, hello. I'm sitting higher up than I was last time. Oh. So yeah. Um. Can't remember why I did that. <laughs> Alright, I think this is going to be it for now. This is 10 minutes of me just rambling, bitching about work and paintings. Uh.